welcome. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at Excel widgets for your iPad, because honestly, they're super cool. Uh, I use a bunch of them, uh, and I just really like them. I think they're awesome. So we'll look at a bunch of apps that have what I think are interesting Excel widgets. All right, so first to activate widgets, you can, I'll use my cursor here on my trackpad, but I'll just hold, with, you can hold with one finger and do the same thing. Hit the plus up in the top corner, and now we have our widgets. So we have, let's start with usage, in fact. That's usage right here. So it has build this widget in app, build this widget in app, build this one. So this is the one I built so far. Let's actually go back into usage and build this widget first. So usage, let's go into usage and look. Don't allow. So widgets, let's go to our widgets here in the bottom corner and you can see I've built my big widgets are started anyways. So what is this even? This is graph X1, this is storage used. And so this is actually one of the issues with usage, unfortunately, is that to build it, so I have to grab a graph 1X so I can actually build whatever I want. Now I can grab text and show, uh, and go back so I can show graph 1X, text, Oh, it was storage, wasn't it? I should be able to find the text in here. Data interval, data period, device name, memory used, storage used free. Oh. I want to center on there. So you can see I actually build my widget, whatever I want. Okay, so it's actually changing it. So this it can be a cool one if you want to put the work in. This is what I'm saying here. If you want to put the work in to change this, then it can be a cool one. Alignment center, color, font, system is flexible. Great. So I can save that. I don't even know what this box is. It's a rectangle. Battery charge level. It doesn't actually show anything, but I have to put something on it. So if you really want to uh, have your own custom widget, then you can use usage. So let's go back to my home screen and put it on the screen. Plus, go to usage, big one, add widget. I'm honestly not going to customize it, so it's not going to happen. Remove this widget. But if you want to, that's one you can use. And there's actually a few other cool widgets in here. Go use the other ones before. Right, battery level, some of these other ones in here I've used. I think I used this one for a while. Battery is charging, right? Intervals, Wi-Fi issues uh, or Wi-Fi status. Memory usage, I use that actually memory free. So I could find out how much is used, how much storage is used, everything like that. So usage is the first one if you want to dive in and really spend your time customizing it because it's going to take that. Next up is Carrot. So let's come in here and here's Carrot and look at our Excel widgets. So I actually use I said this one. I think I used this one already. Excel widget for Carrot. Probably need to, oh, there we go, we're populating now. So this is giving me my hourly forecast along here. It's also giving me my day forecast, right? Uh, or sorry, the hourly again, then it gives me my day Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, it tells me how much um, I can look forward to, what the weather is, I like that. And the other one it also has here is uh, our precipitation one. I'm not actually sure if this will no, I have to upgrade to premium. So showing me our precipitation for the area. And I'm not actually sure this would work in Canada either. It depends on where our data sources are from. So remove that and remove that as well. Carrot is another really good one. Now let's look at Apollo. So Apollo has a bunch of Excel widgets as well. If you're into Reddit, I'm a little bit into Reddit, but not a ton. So let's add this one. This is going to add the um, like my uh, some of the, sorry some of the content from my lists that are the subreddits that I follow. It's got a few others that are interesting. This large grid one is interesting as well, right? It's going to be more photo focused. Basically the same content here, but more photo focused. And you can even see I have the same little bullet journal here as the same as here. I have the same keyboard here and here. Um, so I like that. It even has some more photo focused ones if you are into more photo focused stuff. So we can go to Apollo. 
and we can get it to this. So this one is like gonna show us from a good uh, subreddit, right? It rotates through beautiful photos from image heavy subreddits of my choosing, same idea. Rotates through three gorgeous photos, if you like that. I actually prefer if I'm gonna look at photos, photos of myself, like not myself, of my children, of people that I actually know. Um, and that's really the ones that I think are good, unless you want a super big logo of Reddit, of Apollo. So I think that both of those are good if you're looking for a news summary and you really follow Reddit. I think the one that I'm most likely to use would be this one right here, the more visually oriented one. I just would like that one more, right? I could go straight into Apollo then and see this bullet journal, which I honestly will never do because I think far too many bullet journals are just pretty and not a lot functional. Next, we're gonna look at things three. So there's a few in here, there's actually two. So there's this one here, the Today Widget, um, which is gonna show me all my tasks from today. And there's this other one here. This is the one I like most. So if I add the widget, and then I can actually get out of it. So it's showing me like what's up coming up today, what comes up tomorrow, what comes up on Friday. So it's a rolling three days. So I can see that I need to clean the backyard, even though I don't actually need to clean the backyard because it's raining and they're not coming. And I already did my task aid review, all right? So I don't need to worry about that either. But when I come in here, I can see everything that needs to get done. And you can also edit the widget. I can inbox to today. So that's just my plus button. Now I have a plus button. So if I click this now, uh, I will add it to my inbox for the day. And that's nice. And the other large widget has the same thing. All right, if I go into things. And this is this one here, add widget. And I can edit my widget. And I can actually change the filter is going to be today or upcoming, overdue, anything I want here, cancel. I can filter by tags if I wanted. So if I had a specific tag, like errands I wanted to see as I was out, that's one you could do uh, if you're carrying your big iPad with that. And I could change the plus button to the current list disabled as well. So I use on my task management screen um, this widget here. Next, let's look at calendars by Readle. Actually, so there's actually kind of two. There's calendars like lists and planner and calendars. I'm looking at the calendars list and planner version. Um, we have one Excel widget here, which is going to show me my day. So my wife's actually in Prince George. I have my daughter to go to the dentist. Then I have a bunch of skating things to do. And then my tasks that come up on the other side is one of them. This is another one, a little more calendar focused, um, which is okay, but I, I wouldn't use that one actually. Then we have this one, which is task focused, which again, I wouldn't use that one either. I think the most useful one for my, uh, for my view is this one here. We'll add widget and then we can edit it. And there's a few settings in this one. We can mirror the calendars app. We can show our tasks. We can choose what list coming, task list, upcoming and today. We can actually swap them around if we wanted them differently, right? Upcoming today and then back out. And I can see that upcoming has nothing and today has a test task. So this is actually one of the apps that I'm looking at as far as uh, good task managers for iPadOS. So that's coming up at some point when I start really digging into them. This is one of the ones that I have been looking at. Now let's look at good tasks. So it has one that's very similar to um, what you have in things three, where I have today, tomorrow, and later, which is nice. And that's it. We bring this up. I don't really have any. We can see I have my wife's stuff in here. I have something for good task. My wife's in Prince George as well. My wife is not skating tomorrow for adult skate because she'll be in Prince George still. Um, I can come in and look at the tasks that I have here, right? I can re or I can resolve it by going in there as well. Uh, we can come in here and plus. This has now brought me straight into adding a new task, which is nice. Uh, so new task done. And that just doesn't show up anywhere because it's not useful for me right now. It's not, it doesn't, hasn't been given a date. We come back to edit again. So you got the two, we can choose the list we want to see. We can choose the views we want. We can choose the mode, right? Mode compact, compact two. I don't even know what those do. Not much as far as I can tell with the data I have anyways, we'll look at the good task again. We can choose a dark theme if we want. So it's set up to be default. That's light, dark, black. Let's just leave it at default. Uh, we can choose what view we have, date, priority list. And we can choose if you want to filter to a certain list. Another good Excel widget if you're a good task user for iPadOS. Now let's look at tasks. Now, tasks has one big today widget. 
to show our tasks for today. There's probably gonna be nothing in there for me because I don't have any. So let's add one. Let's add cool thing to do. Let's make it do today. Yep, done. And there you go. Set up stuff. It's an old one. So it shows up nicely. Edit widget. So we can change to today or pick another list if we want. Next three days. We're still only going to see the one thing to do because I only have one thing to do on here. Right, we have the today, we have also to look at projects so we could filter by a specific project. This would be good if you're like working mainly on one project, you could filter to that project and you could change it. And those are the two, filter by list really and filter or filter by priority and then filter by projects. Let's add that one as well. Cool thing to do. And if I edit it, what are my other options? Edit widget. I can change the project, I can filter by tag, and it must contain all tags. So that means you could go in here and choose, could I choose two tags? I can. So high and done would be the option, and it would be either high or done. Uh, let's take that out, done. If I chose to filter, must contain all tags, it had to be high and done. That's tasks. Tasks is int another interesting one to look at that I will look at for my iPad OS uh, task management videos that I'll be coming up. And the last one we're going to look at today is Fantastical. So Fantastical has one extra large widget. It's right at the end if you're scrolling. Add, and it's going to show our appointments and it's going to show, you can see, look at Excel widgets here uh, as a reminders item. Uh, and that's all it's going to show you. Right, if I hit plus, we can add a new uh, event in here, or I can switch it over to a new uh, task, new reminder if we wanted to as well. As far as settings go, we can edit the widget. We can change the appearance. We can change the calendar set. Uh, we can show what events we want us to do, all tasks, like so time tasks only or none if I wanted. I can show weather and show item indicators if I want to. What's the indicator style? Heat map. And what will that do? Oh, you go. So it shows how many things I have on each day. And I have a lot of things on most days because this also will include like all of my family calendars and all of my stuff. That's really it. I think that Excel widgets, we're starting to see the new, uh, I guess the newer widgets, which we first saw on iPhone OS 14, show up and start to grow up, I guess, uh, and see them on the iPad. I would love to see a little more interaction with some of them, but what we've got right now is really cool. So between this and focus modes, um, you have a lot you can do with your iPad to help customize it, to help switch your screens around. I have a video on focus mode, which I'll link up above. Just switch your, sc your screens around so that you can really see what you want to see at a certain time, and you can use the widgets to have quick glimpses into that. That's it. If you liked the video, thumbs up below. If you'd love to subscribe, hit the bell. YouTube will let you know something happened. Uh, if you like the channel in general, you can become a member below. Join YouTube, or you can take one of my courses on Skillshare. You can find all the links to those below as well. If you're watching this long one, uh, we've covered a lot of task managers. Um, you might be interested in my one on TickTick. That's it. Have a good day.